Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another positioning properties or layout designing, one of the important concept. That is nothing but a float. So float is also very much important in our layout designing. Just how how the display uh, row plays a very important role, like inline, inline block, and also the table. So float is also one of the CSS positioning property. <clears throat> So now if you try to look at the printout layout design something like that in our news magazine or anything so you will be able to see the text wrap and all those things floating around the image content so that is nothing but what i can say is uh for example let's try to show you yeah here if you try to see here so like this you'll be able to see the content so image will be there and the content will be floating around like this so this is what this is nothing but an <clears throat> the image is the content is floating around the image so that so that one we can do it using the floating concept i will try to show you one simple example for example let's say that i am having a div here i will take it as a class is equal to container class is equal to container and here basic float when we will be using this basic float so here i will be having an image let's assume this one as an image i will do the css thing for this one and here i will be having the content take it as a paragraph so this is a paragraph and now this is an image go to the css and here i am using dot image that is the name name right we have used it yeah image and this one will be having width of 100 pixel and height of 100 pixel and background color of red so let's try to see the output how it will look like if i show you the output yeah so this is the image let's assume that this is an image and this is a div it's a block level image and this is a content it's also a block level image now if i try to add some more content here so let's try to add sorry let's try to add some more content i have added some p elements here now these are all the elements we are having okay so now what i want to do here this is the content so this content should float or otherwise should come here should float around the this box that is nothing but an image so for this one what we can do is so for the paragraph okay so we can keep it as an float left okay or not otherwise what you can say is for the image for the image for the image so image should be floated right so you can use a float of left so this image should be at the float left so now when you ke keep this image as float left automatically this one will be re, will be floating on the content uh, if it will this will be floating on the web page and the automatically the paragraph elements on whatever the elements are there so these all wrap around the content so now you can even be getting a doubt that what is it then what is the difference between a position absolute and the positioning and the floating thing so floating and the positioning things what i can say is so position it completely removes the page from the content so whereas this one float element what it will try to do here and what this what this uh, float element will do so it will float from the web page but the space what it is occupying so this will be considered whereas in the position absolute the space will not be considered so the content will behave that uh, as 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 such a way that the box is not available in the content it will behave and it will float and, and it will come on the content so that is the main thing so that is the difference between the float and the positioning thing now we have made this one right so now we are able to understand this one so now the image has been float left so that the con the content whatever the content is there is floating around the image let's say that i have an another image let's say that i have an another image okay so this one this image should be on the left and this image should be on the right okay so let's say try to see the output so now we are having two images so two images as the both two images are on the left side why because for the image i have kept the left thing so now what i will try to do so for the left it should be float left and also for the right it should be float right it should be float right so these are float left and right these are the property values available for the float so there is no center top bottom like this those are not available for the float only the left and the right only it is available now if you try to see the output here see now one image has been moved to the left and one image has been moved to the right so whatever the image you have 
right you have mentioned it will be moved to the right now if you see here so if you want to give a margin so for the float left you can give margin right of 20 pixel and here you can give margin right of margin left this side you need to give margin left so now if you try to give margin so margin has been applied on either sides so like this you can float the content around the images if you are having images you can float the content around the images now let's say that okay now let's say that here we are having images and here i am having two contents let's say zoom. okay only two paragraphs are there so these are the two paragraphs only this paragraph has to float between the two images and this paragraph should not float between the images if you try to see the output see now the two if uh, in the two can the two contents the two paragraph contents are floating around the images i don't want this content to be floated so i want only this content to be floated between should be between the left and right so then what i need to do is here okay so for this element for this paragraph we need to add a clear so here i can say that so you should not float between the images so here i can apply for this one clear and i can apply here dot clear and we here we can use clear both okay clear both so here we can use clear left or right or otherwise clear both clear both means it will clear both the left and right now if you try to clear it automatically this content is coming out from this float content so this is all about the floating concept so we can do so many uh, so many things using the floating content so i will try to explain you but here some problem is there with the floating content i will try to explain you those all the things in the real time where the floating comes uh, the disadvantage not disadvantages uh, the problems comes when we are using the floating content and all the things when we are trying to use what are the problems it will come we'll try to see it in the next session but this is all about the floating concept so this is how you will be having the floating concept so now for example let's say that <coughs> so like this you can have it this is an image right so now here i will keep it like this and here you will be having due another due i am taking and here we will be having due class is equal to boxes okay so these are we are having some boxes and in this box i can have due class is equal to box okay single box one two three four five six so i'm having four boxes let's try to design this box and here i will be having dot box width of 100 pixel or 100 pixel okay and height of 100 pixel and background color background color green let's try to see it if you see the output so these all images are one by one right so now what i can do here is so for each box i can keep it as a float left okay so now when i keep it as a float left all the boxes will come side by side so let's try to apply a margin left to this one or otherwise margin of 10 pixel i will try to apply and if you see the margin of 10 pixel see all the boxes has been came float has been came like this so like this also we can do it so this is nothing but a grid grid layout so automatically it has been converted into the grid layout in the bootstrap 3 if you try to observe so these are all the bootstrap 3 and all the things uses the float concept for designing this grid content only now there are some uh, drawbacks not drawbacks there are some problems when you uh, use these all float content you'll see it in the next session in the real time scenario we'll see how this float concept will affect how we can do the navigation using the float concept and all the things you'll try to see it so this is the basic float concept so how the floating uh, flow the floating works so this is the floating thing so now whenever you want to use the float right float left float right like this we will be using to float around the content so normally we will be using for the images to float around the content so in the next session we will try to design a navigation using the floating and what are the problems you will find it i will try to show you hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.